everybody welcome back to my channel it's Patricia and I have a request to do a video for you guys on some of Scentsy's strongest scents so I decided to go ahead and do that for you guys for some of you that are newer to Scentsy or you just have not had a chance to get through everything or you're just wondering you know what are some scents I should have on hand when people come by when I need to cover up some odors whatever I got you so let me first preface by saying this is not an all-encompassing list of the biggest and strongest of Scentsy scents. There are some other ones that you probably think might be stronger than what I'm getting ready to show you. Um, this is just what I have personally used, what I personally think is strong. So, and what I personally also have on hand for the most part. So I have a list of 15 cents and an honorable mention that we're going to get in. Now, you know, since we're all family here and we're in a family environment, please feel free to comment below what your strongest sensey scents are. And that way we can help each other out. We can just have a big community chat and that way we can get more fragrances to other people's, um, get them on their radar and that way we can help each other out because that's what it's all about sharing is caring but first before we jump into it i just have to say you know what's dropping tomorrow i have been waiting for this day some of us have been waiting for it for years because of the scents that are dropping tomorrow bring back my bar is dropping tomorrow and it's that usual time between 9 30 and 10 30 a.m pacific time by now, we all know our time zones and we know what time things are dropping. So, um, this year, as I mentioned before, the consultants didn't get to get the, did not get to get, say that fast, the kit ahead of time. So, we're all getting it at the same time. I will be ordering the complete set of all 20 cents so we can do a complete snip through of the whole entire collection. Um, and there you have it so i'm going to be placing my order tomorrow if you guys need for me to place an order for you um i'm sure it's not going to sell out especially if you're getting the complete set but if there are certain um scents that you want that you're scared might sell out first day let me know i'll go ahead i'll place the order for you and we can just get started like that but now let's get into the strongest scentsy scents Okay, so in no apparent order at all, the first one I have is one of my favorites. It's one of everybody's favorites, Winterberry Apple Tea. I know you guys have heard about this scent ad nauseum, but you have to try it. If you haven't tried it, try it. It is tea, honey, cranberry, and apple. It is a beast. This is a good two-day scent. Uh, it's just, it's fruit and it's spicy and it's just, it's everything. So, winterberry apple tea right off the bat. Had to put that out there. Next up is very snowy spruce. Now, very snowy spruce, I had a bar of this and um, used it up. So, all I have is the tester left. But it is such a beloved scent that it is available now in um, cleaning products. So I'm just checking my website to see. It is part of the Holiday Clean Bundle. It is still available for $20. That is the dish soap and the counter clean. I have it. I just didn't feel like logging it in here. So um, we have the tester. It is your typical Christmas tree scent. So it is, the scent notes are um, balsam, spruce, cedar branches, and pine cones. So wonderful Christmas tree scent. If you have an artificial tree, but you want your house to smell like you have a real tree, then this is what you need. Next, we have breakfast in bed. I've got gone through half of this already. I might warm this today. Um, breakfast in bed. This is another scent that will last you a good couple of days warming. Mm, it's just this great 
if you're a foodie, you need this one in your life. The notes on breakfast in bed are um, pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. Oh, it's so good. This is new, but it's going to stick around. I just know it because so many people are in love with the scent. That is breakfast in bed. Next up, now this was one that was not my favorite. A lot of people liked it. It's a new um, fragrance, Cloudberry Dreams. To me, this one was just like chokingly loud. Um, it was just too berry for me. And whew, I, it, it's a lot for me. I'm trying to see if I can find the fragrance notes for you on this one i don't think this is still around though cloudberry i know it was part of oh there it is duh okay cloudberry dreams this is what it looks like um it says it is um sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy burst of peach and vanilla it, for me, it was just a little bit too much. Um, like I said, if you want a loud scent, this is right up your alley. A lot of people love this one. For me, it was just, I think the raspberry was too much for me. It's just, to me, a loud, fruity scent. But it does the job. It is loud. So, once again, that is Cloudberry Dreams. Next up, we have just for you so this is yet another pine christmas tree type of scent mm, this one smells a little different than um the previous one that i showed you so i'm gonna pull it up so i can give you the notes for it so just for you is fir balsam and pine, oh, wild blackberry offers its one-of-a-kind sweetness to a forest of fir balsam and pine needles. So you get that slight fruity note with this. This is not one of the loudest, but it, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I just had to throw it in there, so mm, I love this just for you. Next up. I've told you guys this is one of my personal faves forever. It is Cider Mill. It is such a strong cedar fragrance. It is just everything. I have to have multiple bars of this as soon as fall hits. Cider Mill notes are fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for a cozy autumn treat. This, to me, as I've said before, cedar closet. If you want a strong cedar scent, this is what you need. That is Cider Mill. Next up is Hug in a Mug. This is a strong um, cocoa, of course, fragrance. And the scent notes are chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. To me, this smells like, it smells like a cup of hot chocolate. You can get the hazelnut note. It's just, it's really strong. This one is another one you'll smell across a multiple rooms. It will light your house up. It will make you hungry. So if you're a person that doesn't want to feel like you're hungry, this might not be the one for you because it will make you hungry. It is strong. Bakery lovers you will love this one hug in a mug next another fan favorite stroop waffle delight i never knew what a stroop waffle was and i hope i'm saying this right before Scentsy. now i know what it is i've still never had one but this oh it just smells so good it's just this beautiful bakery scent it's like butter and um, just all kinds of bakery goodness. So I'm going to pull the notes up for you. I was trying to do it while I was talking and 
could not spell Stroopwafel, so let me stop and actually type the correct thing in so I can find the fragrance for you. So the fragrance notes are creamy vanilla, rich melted butter, and cinnamon. If you're scared of cinnamon, don't be scared of this. I don't really get the cinnamon at all from this. It's just that butter note. It smells like a buttery dessert. It is awesome. Good two-day scent. It is everything. Next, I had to pull out a brick, y'all. Pretty in plaid. I am slowly working through my brick. And it is strong. This is one of the strongest scentsy scents I have ever smelled. This will almost choke you out. The last time I used this, I act, I ended up um, taking, it was the cranberry brick, and doing a half and half proportion of this to warm because this by itself is just too much for me. My husband loves it. He's just like... You know, and I'm just like, oh. this does come in a bar. You don't have to get it in a brick. This is currently available in a bar. You can add this to your Scentsy Club in a bar if you like as well. The notes are woody juniper berries, jive with fresh minty wintergreen, festive Douglas fir, and bright tart cranberries. It is just a really loud tree scent with a little something extra in it. And that's because of the cranberry and everything. Loud. Oh my god. Pretty and plaid. Loud. Next, we have, have a little list over here. Um, now, the ones I don't have on hand, but I did want to mention, is the first one is called Clean Breeze. We have that in our laundry line. So the notes for Clean Breeze are uh, pulling it up for you guys it says white florals with a touch of spring this is the scent of fresh laundry this is a loud one as well this is what it looks like um i've used it before it's loud so if you love a loud laundry scent then that is for you we also have Clothesline, which is also in our laundry line. Duh. So Clothesline, as you can imagine, is another laundry scent. Now the difference in Clothesline is that it has a little floral mixed into it. So Clothesline is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, um, with a hint, even a hint of white wicker basket. Okay, greens, orange flower, and creamy violet. That is what this looks like. It is loud as well. Once again, you want a loud laundry scent. That is for you. Next up is one I don't have on hand, and that is jammy time. Which, once again, is in our laundry line. Are you catching the theme here? So, jammy time. Let me just, I had typed it in as one word. Jammy Time is a beautiful lavender scent. It is awesome. Uh, let me pull up the notes. It is Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. So that is what Jammy Time looks like. I love this for my laundry. I keep this in as one of my choices in laundry. Usually I have a couple of different things going at once. Jammy Time is always one of them. It smells so good. It's loud. It's just this beautiful um, lavender fragrance. It is everything. Okay, this is the last one that I don't have on hand, and that is Sheer Leather. And I know you guys are like, leather? It is so much more than leather, though. Oh, my God. This is a perfumey leather scent. So, I would say leather to perfume ratio is probably a good 70, 30, 70 perfume, 30 leather, or 75 perfume, um, 25 leather. 
It's just this beautiful, perfumey leather fragrance. It smells like a men's cologne. It is strong. Two-day fragrance, easily. Um, the notes are bergamot and a subtle hint of leather and sandalwood. It's everything. I love it. My husband loves it. The cat loves it. Everybody loves it. So that is sheer leather. Next up on the list is Squeeze the Day. Oh, this is just a beautiful, creamy lemon fragrance. It is, obviously, it's lemon. It's, um, from what I remember, vanilla and lemon. Because that gives you that creaminess. Hmm. I just enjoy smelling this. It, it's so popular. It was in cleaning products. Um, it came out as a dish soap and a counter clean. It sold out. They brought it back. It sold out again. It was just, people couldn't get enough of it. So the notes are lemons balanced with a hint of vanilla cream. There you go. Creamy vanilla. Mmm. It is everything. It just makes you smile when you warm it, when you smell it. It's so good. Squeeze the day. Next on my list is um, a three-pack. Now, the only reason why I still have this is because I have the samples left. I only have one of the bars left, and this was the Scentsy Holiday 3-Pack. So it included um it included berry blessed feeling pine and happy holidays. So I have feeling pine here. All of these scents were loud. Like the the whole collection was loud. So you want something loud, Christmassy, just pick up the collection. This is a loud tree scent. You can almost smell the, the bark in this, the um, the actual tree trunk. So peel, peeling pine, feeling pine is eucalyptus, mistletoe, and pine. So those are your notes for that one. So that is feeling pine. Um, the next one is very blessed. Now this was another... Um, loud berry scent for me it was a little much it was just it was too loud and fruity for me but if you love fruity scents and obviously we're looking for loud fragrances this is what you need so it's it was too much for me but hey um let's see berry blessed is cranberry soft vanilla and sparkling sugar i expected more vanilla and sugar out of this to me it was more of the tart cranberry so very blessed and last this was my favorite out of the collection and that is happy holly days now this just brought out the foodie in me i loved it it just mm. I love this. I miss smelling this. I think it was like a blackberry note in this. Uh, let me see. Happy Holly Days. It is golden pear, clove, and holiday pine. Don't ask me where I got blackberry from. So that's pear, clove, and pine. Absolutely beautiful. Mm, smells so good. Moving on. So the last one on my list, you guys, is Autumn Hearth. And I'm about halfway through this one as well. Autumn Hearth is Apple, Cinnamon, and Tonka. This one, once again, loud. Now, it does have a little bit more cinnamon in it. So it is kind of cinnamon heavy. But it's not too much where it the cinnamon is just slapping you upside the head. But you can tell this is a scent that has cinnamon in it. This is a scent that when you come in the door from outside, 
it's going to slap you upside the head and slap your wig off. Just want to put that out there. But it is in the best way. It is just a great fall fragrance that has a little bit more cinnamon in it. But it just smells like fall. And it's super strong. So that is Autumn Park. So there you have it, guys. That is my collection of what I think are the strongest scentsy scents. As I said, list down below your favorites. A lot of them are heavy in cinnamon, so you know that's not on my radar. So if it's on your radar, list it below. Um, and let's start a discussion and help each other out building this library of awesome, um, strong, scentsy scents. So thanks so much for watching. Please remember tomorrow's Bring Back My Bar. Go ahead, get your order in. If it's something that you need me to order for you, like a six pack of such and such that you're scared it's going to sell out day one. Um, let me know if you need to and I order it for you. Please, if you do not have a Scentsy Club subscription, today is the day to make up a Scentsy Club subscription. Throw those puppies in there tomorrow. I am doing the same thing. The first thing going in my club is Sweet Plum Pastry. Then it's going to be Vanilla Oud and Vanilla Suede. After that, I don't know. Oh, and Plum and White Woods is also going in there. Right off the bat, done. As soon as I place the order for the set, those puppies are going straight into Bring Back My, bring back my Bar, into my Scentsy Club. If you need help setting up a description, holla at your girl. I will help you out. And that's it. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.